Thanks for tuning in. This is the life of the miner. And in this video, I'm going to go over the hash rate and power draw mining Ravencoin on the RTX 2080 Ti. So let's check this out. Okay, so first I do want to mention I do have the Zotec Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Amp Edition. And I'm going to go over mining Ravencoin, the hash rates power draw, and of course decreasing the power limit as well. Now I do have all the stats in the description as well, so if you just wanted to check that out. But what I'll do first is I'm just going to go over the slides, and then at the end I'll go over the stats in more details. So let's check this out. Alright, so when it comes to nice hash, I was only averaging around 19 mega hashes compared to using Z Enemy Miner on RavenMiner.com. I was averaging around 38 mega hashes. So nice hash or any one click miner, it's not too good mining Ravencoin. Now of course my computer does idle at about 63 watts. Alright, so now I do have to mention that this is only about two hours of testing for each setting. So these numbers are definitely not accurate, but this should give you a general idea. So at the power limit set at 100, I was averaging around 38 mega hashes at consuming around 320 watts for the whole system. And here's more pictures of my RTX 2080 Ti mining. Now go ahead and pause the video if you want to see this in more detail. Now setting my power limit at 90, I was averaging around 37 mega hashes and consuming around 292 watts. Setting the power limit at 80, I was averaging around 36 mega hashes, consuming around 261 watts. Setting the power limit at 70, I was averaging around 35 mega hashes, consuming around 235 watts. And my power limit at 60, I was averaging around 25 watts, and I was consuming around 208 watts. So this was the biggest drop. And if you did want to compare it to the RTX 2080, my test bench, my computer idles around 40. With the runner mining, it was consuming around 260 watts, and I was averaging around 27 mega hashes. Now let's go over the stats in more details. Like I mentioned before, this is about two hours of testing for each setting. The miner I've been using is the enemy miner. The pool I've been mining on is ravenminer.com. Now, like I mentioned before, using nice hash, I was only averaging around 19 mega hashes, but using Z Enemy Miner, I was averaging around 38 mega hashes. So my computer at idle was at 63 watts. At stock settings, power limit at 100. The mega hashes was ranging between 30 to 50 mega hashes, so it did average around 38 mega hashes at 320 watts. So the GPU itself was only using 257 watts. I was getting around 0.1479 mega hashes per watt. Now at the power limit set at 90, my mega hashes were ranging between 29 through 45 mega hashes. I was averaging around 37 mega hashes, so I did lose about 1 mega hash, but I did drop around 28 watts. So my efficiency did increase, and I was getting around 0.1616 mega hashes per watt. Then dropping the power limit at 80, my mega hashes then ranged from 26 mega hashes to 43 mega hashes. I averaged around 36 mega hashes. My GPU was consuming only 198 watts, so now I was getting 0.1818 mega hashes per watt. Now setting the power limit at 70, my mega hashes did range between 25 to 42 mega hashes. I did average around 35 mega hashes at 235 watts. My GPU was at 172 watts, so I was getting around 0.2035 mega hashes per watt. Now at the power limit at 60, my mega hashes ranged from 25 mega hashes to 29. I was averaging about 27 mega hashes, so I did drop a full 8 mega hashes. And my GPU was consuming around 145 watts. Now I was getting around 0.1862 mega hashes per watt. So setting the power limit at 70 is maybe the best bet. And if you wanted to compare really quickly uh, with the RTX 2080, power limit at 100. Now my test bench idled around 40, and the mega hashes were ranging around 22 to 31 mega hashes. So I did an average around 27 mega hashes at 260 watts, and it was only 220 with the GPU. So I was getting around 0.1227 mega hashes per watt just for the RTX 2080. Alright, so those are the results mining Ravencoin on the RTX 2080 Ti. 
Now, like I mentioned, these are just two hour averages in on stock settings. Uh, so this should just give you a general idea. Now, I didn't go over cost or ROI because by the time you watch this video, the difficulty and price could change. So just plug your numbers in a mining calculator, like what to mine and just see what the results are. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Promise you'll catch me.